Hey, this is Brooke. I'm playing uh, a Johnny Marr Jaguar into uh, the Tweed amp that I was demonstrating recently. And I want to show you a really cool little country lick that's pretty simple. Uh, this is going to be uh, starting on a C. If we think of the pattern 2 chord for a C major, that's an A shaped chord. You're going to lay your ring finger flat, index flat across here. That's the where I'm getting my uh, kind of my note source, but I'm not going to play that full chord. I'm just going to play the three uh, first three strings like this. That's like a root third fifth or C E G, and I'm using ring, pinky, and index. Index is going to lay flat on the first two strings, as I often mention, and. The reason I'm, that's laying flat is because I'm going to lift up the pinky. And that gives you kind of a, uh, it kind of simulates the sound of levers on a steel guitar. That So what you're getting is a second interval to a third. A D to an E. So I like to hammer on third string, second string, first string. I'm just picking with my thumb index and middle. You can use a pick or whatever you want to do. If you use the fingers, you can grab three strings or you can do them individually. Or get two notes with two fingers. Kind of a, a lot of uh, possibilities. So of course you want to take it to another chord. How about you take it up to an F? Uh, okay, let's take it up to G. And if you want to go crazy, take it way up to the high C at the 15th and 17th frets. So to review, here's C, F, G, C. And of course you can run it, let's say we want to go from G to F, check this out. It's got that good old <laughs> or kind of a thing, <laughs> that's kind of cute. So it does kind of have that vibe of uh, steel guitar. If you grew up watching Hee Haw, <laughs> wondering what those people are up to, this is kind of kind of some classic 60s, you know. It's a way to ad adopt or adapt that uh, pedal steel sound to a six string. If, if you don't have a pedal steel, no problem. You can just kind of fake it. You can add a little more. Let's add one more note. Check this out. So if we... We agree that's a that's a root third fifth. Let's add a fourth. Pinky just goes up one fret to the F on the sixth fret of the second string. Then take it away. Then you got a little uh, kind of a doodad of med melody. I did like a pull off, or a, yeah, pull off, uh, a kind of a slide pull off, <laughs> combination slide. I've never done that in my life before. You don't want to overdo it, but uh, you know you can make it like the C. the F uh oh I added another one in there yeah you don't always want to do the exact same lick on each chord but 
What I just added was C, check this out, C, G, C. More of the fake pedal stuff. C, G, which is B, D, G. You really gotta think about those chords, but you'll find them right in the shapes. Uh, the chords, the shapes, the note names, um, and how they relate to each other, like C, G, C, or C, F, C, or C, F, C, C, F, G, C. It's just a gold mine. It's a whole system of things you can do with those kinds of little triads. And that is how I uh, was kind of like an on-call country guy, or I could go on an audition, believe it or not, they'd hire me. You know, if I needed some loot, wanted to join a country band, just show up and uh, just start playing whatever you got. And then I'd slap that stuff on and they're like, can you start this Friday night? Or, you know, sometimes I'd just show up to a gig. They'd, you know, call me in, not knowing me. I'd just have to show up and play. And uh, those kind of licks, if I'd, I don't even know who the people are uh, I'm playing with. Those licks would get me through the gig. And, you know, I'd get called back or hired or go on to more full-time work with that kind of, uh, these kinds of licks in my pocket or my toolbox. All right, I hope you like that, and uh, thanks so much. If you could subscribe, that helps me out a whole bunch. See ya.